Friday, everyone. I um, haven't done a video in a while. And there's... Devin hasn't really sent us any themes lately. So there's no theme. But that's okay, because I've read a lot of books in January. Um, and I will review some of them for you. First of all, <laughs> Dust of 100 Dogs by A.S. King. I've, I've heard of this one for a while. I don't think it's very recent. You might have too. Um, it's about this, uh, girl. She's a pirate in, like, the 1700s. And her name's, uh, Amber Morrissey, and she's a famous pirate. And she, she kills a bunch of guys. And, you know, she's a great pirate. And then she gets cursed to live the life, to live the lives of 100 dogs before she gets reincarnated as a human, which is why it's called the Dust of 100 Dogs. And after living as 100 different dogs... She comes reincarnated as a teenage girl, you know, modern day USA. Just unlike Irish parents. And then she, she, she uh, goes on a quest to find her buried treasure that she buried hundreds of years ago. I thought it was really good. Maybe it's because I haven't read many or any pirate stories before, or at least in the YA genre. But this felt really original to me. And I thought the love story also had an original feel. It wasn't all, like, uh, fantasized or like, idealized like a lot of relationships are. It was real. Um, it was, it got to me. Like, it was emotional. I felt very attached to the characters. Yeah, it was great. Read it. The next book is this one, Where She Went by Gail Foreman. It's the sequel to If I Stay, which you've probably heard of and hopefully read it. I liked If I Stay a lot. And this comes out, it says, April 5th. And if you read If I Stay, you know, well, I'm not going to spoil it, but this starts off three years after If I Stay. And Adam and Mia have sort of drifted apart. Well, no, they've broken up. And uh, Mia is pursuing her own career. I think she plays violin or cello or, you know, some classical instrument. I'm not, I don't know many classical instruments. And Adam is turned into a huge rock star. And this is about how they reconnect three years after, haven't talked in years. And it's, it's mostly a flashback of what happened after uh, If I Stay, immediately after, and what led up to where they are three years from then. Like, not much happens in the present time in this book. It's a lot of flashing back and thinking back and stuff like that. Having said that, I still thought it was a great book. It wasn't as emotional as If I Stay. Like, I didn't feel like I was close to crying at any points. But um, I think there's still a good deal of emotion in it. And even though a lot of it happens in the past, not much happens during the present, I think you can still get the sense of a lot of things happening. And the third book is... Well, I don't even know I'm showing this as a manuscript. But it's uh, Legend by Mary Lou. And it comes out, I think, uh, like October, November of this year. And it's about this guy named Day. And he's living in... Uh, 2130, year 2130, Los Angeles, and the United States has been split into two different, like, uh, two different governments, it's split, been split down the middle, there's the east and the west, and Day is, he lives in the west, obviously, and he's kind of a rebel against the western government called the Republic, and he's causing havoc between them, and it's about him versus this, uh, very promising young officer of the Republic. And it's about how they interact. And uh, I'm not doing a very good job of summarizing this one. But I just look for it when it comes out. Because I thought it's one of the best books I've read in a long time. If you love dystopian, or even like dystopian, you should really read this. So yes, those are three books that I all highly recommend. Two of them have yet to come out. But Got Dust of 100 Dogs, Where She Went comes out pretty soon. And then just keep legend in your mind. Okay? So I hope you enjoy my video, and bye.